What's going on you guys, it's boy Jess Brown or JB from Team Broskis here and today um, I just want to do a little channel overview with this kind of just filler before we get the Unison stuff if it's not out by the time I upload this. So this is just a little bit of filler just so I can have something to upload on Saturday if the Unison stuff truly hasn't been um, delivered yet. And we're going to talk about everything that's going to happen and what's going on with the channel. So uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this and for uh, being subscribed. I hope you guys are subscribed. If not, hit the, um, uh, go down and hit the subscribe button if you guys want, want more uh, Dragon Ball Super content. And yeah, um, slowly but surely, this channel, the channel is growing. We are currently at 59 subscribers. Hopefully soon we get to the 100 mark. But um, I just wanted to sort of review how everything's going with it and to show sort of the statistics of how um, stuff went on. So if we scroll all the way down, the channel when it was before Los Broskis TCG with the original team, uh, it was doing pretty good, honestly. Uh, you know, I wasn't expecting to get a bunch of views or anything. I wasn't like, oh yeah, this channel is going to do fantastic in the beginning. Because it takes time. Let's be honest, it takes time. So, um, but surprisingly, there were some there were some uh, major points in, in the early stages, such as uh, the, the first beginner's guide. Um, actually, I should probably add this to Beginner's Guide tab, um, but there's the Beginner's Guide. There was the uh, breaking news when Unison barely got announced. Uh, like I, this is when I noticed people were really excited for this stuff, so I just kept um, I kept updating you guys on it. And then the channel sort of just uh, stayed still for a while until the Janemba video, which hit 63. We kept going. It was average. Honestly, not my best thumbnails. It was very early. Out of all these thumbnails, this was probably my favorite. Uh, but other than that, pretty simple thumbnails, uh, nothing too. The, 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 uh, Amino, Amino video was really fun. Really fun little mini series we did. Again, back to simple. And then I started actually putting a, a little bit more effort into my, into my thumbnails. And, uh, the Surge video did really good. 101 views. Uh, the value box, 76. Sealed versus singles. Uh, one of my favorite discussions out there. But um, it did average at most. DJ's video did pretty good for his very first video. I mean, better than my. Well, I mean, when it came out, better than my first video. A um, couple more card reveals. I was pretty late on this, so I'm not surprised why that has low views. Patara as a D. I was kind of late on that also, so not surprised at all. Face reveal for uh, 47. It was sort of a project for school, so I'm not really too mad that it didn't do too well. Starting to duo did uh, pretty decent. Uh, discussion on um, on Rise of the Apes and all that did pretty good. 95 views, average top 10. Late on the announcements again. That's my bad. And then we have the Dino Structure deck. I guess it just isn't a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. It's still after two weeks, only sitting at eight views. Um, if you guys do want Yu-Gi-Oh videos, you know, go back to that video and just give it a like, uh, just to get the little message out there or comment down and share the video. See if we can get that higher. If you guys are interested in Yu-Gi-Oh, if not, then it's fine. Uh, surprisingly, the packs before Unison hit 170 views, which was uh, pretty crazy to me. I was like, the heck? Why did why did that happen? Like, it was so random, but, you know, I appreciate I appreciate you guys' support. Check your prizes did pretty good. SPR and schedule. I feel like, I don't know if it was because people thought I opened a box, because this was on pre-release day, I believe. Uh, six days ago, roughly, uh, almost, but, um. I feel like people thought I pulled some SPRs or opened a box. It was just a little review on the art and the schedule for the channel. Sort of like this video. And then uh, by the time this is uploaded, we should have another rate the set and a, another opening up. We'll see, uh, I'll see how those do. But uh, look, I feel like I'm going to stop rate the set for a while because they're not doing too hot. I mean, 20 to 14 views, not really good. Maybe people just aren't interested in that topic. But um, if you guys are, you know, go back to those videos, give them views, give them likes, uh, and we'll see if we do another one. But uh, what's it called? I guess it just it's not hitting. And honestly, these are kind of these take a while to these take a while to um, to make since I have to review the whole, I have to find everything that's what that was from that set and review it and talk about the cars going. It was just it's more of a hassle. So if you guys are not interested, just. Uh, you know, I'll get the memo if you guys are actually want to see more rate the sets since we're going to be reaching episode four, which was Colossal Warfare. Give the previous videos, a, give the previous videos a like. But other than that, um, there's nothing really going on in the card game. We're still a couple of days before the official official release. But um, by the time the official release is out, uh, probably like the week after, 
we should be starting to see some news on the on the anniversary box hopefully they just spit everything out what the new art is what the box designs are going to be the sleeves everything or whatever they're going to do in it uh, hopefully they just show it off but for now there's nothing in here and a little update is that um you guys know me i love game nerds um, I, I know I said before I was just gonna get two premiere packs and that was the idea at first But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Uh, Unison's been such a big part of this channel and I haven't really opened a box on the channel yet So I mean per se I did open the special pack which was 24, but that's not really a box um, So oh god, they're out of stock. I am so happy. I got them last minute Okay, so yeah, I went super last minute and I actually got myself a box uh, for you guys. Hopefully pull Seeker Rare. You guys know that. But wow, I'm actually super lucky. I got a box that's out of stock. I barely ordered this yesterday. But um, yeah, so uh, can't wait for that to arrive and the special packs. So we're going to be opening up up to like 32 packs. Hopefully, I mean, if I don't pull Seeker in that, I'll be surprised. But if not, so let's just quickly review what we we're going to want to pull. So obviously Seeker Rares. Uh, big money, big money. Uh, we're going to be trying to go for Grade 8 because you guys know me. I'm a Grade 8 fan. If not, these will do. But out of these two, uh, favoritism, I prefer Gotenks. But if I'm trying to get money back, I'll, I'll for sure, I'll accept the Gogeta. But I'll probably, I'll probably sell it to get the money back that I wasted on the box. And to save up for uh, Anniversary and and the uh, the Draft Box Grade 8. Um... And then highest SPR is GOAT, is Trunks, which I'll think about selling. I'm not sure yet. Because um, I really like this art. It's one of my favorite arts in this whole set. But um, if it's just that little bit of money I need back to get my money back, or a little bit more, I'll sell it. I'll sacrifice it. Uh, the Bardock, it looks clean, but if I can get money out of this, I'll take it. Uh, Shin Shenron. The thing with SPR is that they're good, but they're not necessary to play the card game. Um, but still, uh, the Unisons, they, the powerful ones, they seem to still be pretty expensive. Uh, Gogeta, uh, the regular, and then we have the highest S star that we're going to go for, which is, uh, Dormant Potential Unleashed. Really good card, 30 bucks for an SR, not bad, or market price 18. So pretty good. I'm pretty sure this went down in price. Pretty sure it was way higher before. But, um, Gotenks, this was one I was actually surprised that he was, um, he wasn't very expensive because he was very... He look, I mean, out of all the SP, SPR arts, besides, uh, well, actually, yeah, he's better than Trunks. This one just looks super clean. Surprised he's not a higher price, but maybe just playability. Uh, Mechaburo, surprisingly, wasn't that high, even though he seemed pretty broken at first. Um, but yeah, we're, and then these are the premier packs we're going to be opening up on the channel. Uh, depending on which one comes first, either it's going to be these two first, and then the, the box. Um, I'm probably going to divide the box into two parts, because I don't like making too long of videos. I kind of just want to make a video... Let you guys watch it and then go to the next one so uh, i'll probably open half the box in one video and half the other make it a two-parter uh, i'll do i will be opening the premiere packs both of them just in one in one go but box probably gonna split in half hopefully pull a secret rare uh, like i said i wouldn't mind any of these preferably this one if not uh, if i could pull any of these which are like almost twice or a quarter more than the bardock i will plus on it and then if I pull special rares, um, I'll just have I'll just have more money to get more products for the channel for you guys. But uh, that seems like the plan for now. Uh, like I said, I'm actually surprised I actually got one while it was still available. Like, wow, that was super last minute on me, and I actually was able to uh, plus on that on getting it. So that's great. That's really good. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really going on right now. Uh, this is gonna be the next big thing we're gonna be talking about and possibly getting. Because um, it's just it's such a good deal, 60 bucks, uh, not a bad deal. You get a bunch of cards, um, a random leader, which um, it's hinting towards uh, Majin Buu leader, which I love. Bunch of random packs. You get a you get a one one batch of 60 sleeves with your Dragon Ball Super Card Game art, which is really cool. And then you get a, and then you get a storage box, which uh, could have cool art. Out of these four, this was the coolest one because it had all the secret rares. And then the other ones were kind of average. This one kind of just had all the set art on it, but. Um, Hopefully the this sets are this uh, this anniversary's boxes are cool, and I end up pulling the one that I want. That's another thing you kind of you kind of want to pull the art box that you want now. But um, 
Uh, yeah, guys, it's going to do it for me today. Uh, hopefully, the next video is unison. Uh, hopefully, the packages do arrive. And, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Wow. Keep it clean, wash your hands, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. All right, uh, later, guys. Peace.